world's coral reefs are disappearing. One estimate predicts that 70% could be gone within 50 years. There's a complex combination of threats. Overfishing, global warming, sea level rises, local indifference, profiteering. All the usual suspects. So what's needed is a real effort to protect what we can. And to do that successfully, science needs reliable data. A survey like this will tell us a lot about this particular section of reef. By counting fish species and numbers, we'll be able to tell whether local fishing methods are sustainable. Are there big edible fish under pressure? And are there juvenile fish around? Often, cyanide takes the place of nets around here and can kill a reef stone dead. A visit by one of these fishing pirates could see the end of this reef in quick time. Efficiency. Fine mesh nets trawling the bottom, smashing habitats and destroying breeding stocks. Trailing long lines with hundreds of hooks pulling in tons of fish. Any size, any species. Anything that moves gets snatched and sold. This reef is pretty healthy, for now. There are plenty of fish, cucumbers and clams around. Not surprising, given we're in such an isolated part of the world. The Indies trader only sits about six feet or two metres below the waterline. 